Speaking of your family, yes. one of the things that we love about following you is how open you and Deval are about literally every part of y'all lives. Like when y'all cool, cool, when y'all not cool, when y'all good, when y'all not we good. We figure if we're going to tell y'all the story, we have to tell y'all the whole truth. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, can't, yes. we can't start picking and choosing. Exactly. So, yeah. And you guys just launched a podcast. We did. Tell me a little bit about the podcast before we go into the topic of the day. No, absolutely. So it's Dead Ass with Kadena and Deval. Yes. I mean, very New York. It's, very it's so New York. Dead ass. Dead ass. And we fought for that name because we knew what it meant for the culture trying to hold on to a little bit of Brooklyn. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but we pretty much wanted to be able to give a voice to millennials through the lens of a millennial married couple yes. with children. Yes. So we discuss everything. I mean, between marriage, love, finance, kids, everything under the sun. We didn't want it to encompass just relationship issues or right. topics. Right. Um, so yeah, we're about seven episodes in. Airs every Wednesday. Yes. Make sure you subscribe where you listen and yes. all that good stuff for yes. podcasts. So, so far it's been great. I'm so happy it's for been you. Great. You guys Thank are doing you. so well. And, and what I love about y'all is that y'all are like one of the only millennial representations of like a, a really dope marriage that's like young and thriving but still has kids and not trying to grow up. So right. do, does that become a lot of pressure? Like that people look at y'all as kind of these this like relationship goals, millennial couple? Yeah. Yeah, we kind of like to shy away from the whole relationship goals because we feel like this is this works for us, you know? Mm. And so many times people have asked us for advice. Like, we do have listener letters. People will write in and we give our advice, but we never want to put ourselves on a, on a pedestal as if this is what people should aspire to yeah. do. However, we do feel like it's important for us to show you can be an individual, you can support each other, you can goal chase, you can dream chase, you can have children, you can be a mom, you can bounce right back. Like there's so many things that I want to show people and my husband and I want to show people that we can do, mm -hmm. that it is possible. Yeah. So um, is there a pressure around it? A little bit, Yeah. Um, but we don't get too involved in that. We feel like we're also content creators. Our YouTube channel, uh, this really started with us trying to, as content creators and as actors, put our reel out there. Right. What better way to do it than on social media is right. free, people have access, and now we've accessed so many people and it's become kind of like this movement yeah. for us yeah. inadvertently that we didn't plan for, but we accept the challenge. Yeah. I mean, well, let me ask you a question. Since, since you're like our resident relationship expert on the show. Okay. Hello. Uh, yeah. yeah. What happened? Y'all not in relationships? Well, no you relationship know, I ain't. Got, uh, yeah, yeah. My mama told me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you're the expert, though. You got, you, you know, I like, mean, yes. We, I'm we, about we, 17 years in. So that's yes. what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what yes. I'm saying. So, uh, what if this open marriage thing? Mm -hmm. Some people say it's a recipe for disaster. Some people say it's the only thing that keeps their relationship healthy. Mm -hmm. Some people say, you know, I, 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 it might not be for you, but do you see it as a functional way to have a relationship? I feel, I, this is my take on it. If it works for you and your spouse or your partner, mm -hmm. so be it. The biggest issue I think with a lot of relationships is having the outside noise that drowns mm -hmm. what it is you two have decided on. Mm -hmm. If this is what you decided on because it works for both of you and it makes you happy, do it. Why? Do it. Yeah. Do it. So I would never sit here and judge and say maybe it doesn't work for Deval and I to have an open relationship, but the farthest thing from our minds is to judge anybody who does decide on it. Yeah. Right. I've heard that it's an oxymoron. Why have a marriage if you're <laughs> going to be open? Right. And in what terms is it open? Is it just open sexually? Is it open, you know, in terms of having a whole entire other relationship? I know there was a show on, uh, was it TLC? Yeah. Sister Why, Seeking Sister Why? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You there know, was a black couple on there. There was a black there. couple on there. Yeah. So apparently now black people are starting to be a little bit more open, open. to the idea right. of it. Um, and, and that's just my take on it. If it works for you, and this is exactly why I don't ask for a relationship advice either from anybody because mm. everyone's jaded everyone's tainted in their yeah. own right because of their own life experiences mm -hmm. so it does, if it doesn't work for you don't do it right. I, I got friends it works for I, I think I think it it can work depending on the people right. I think again it's situational mm -hmm. but I think people are so afraid of communicating hey this is what I want that they'll suffer in silence as opposed to being happy. So you never know if you propose it a certain way mm -hmm. or have certain stipulations right. or put it all on the table. Because if this is your partner, there should be nothing that you keep Absolutely. from, especially if you marry. Yeah. Right. Put we've it had, on the table. My husband and I, sorry not to cut no, you off, no, no, we've no. had super difficult conversations. Right. I mean, being together since 18 years old, no. Oof. Yeah. What's exactly. one of the most difficult? You know? uh, sex. Okay. Sex becomes an issue for us. You think about our sex life from 18-year-olds who are like young kids in college yeah, and yeah. I'm ready to bust wide open. Yeah. <laughs> and then you want to throw in bills uh -huh. and work and children and pregnancy and, and postpartum yeah. and three of them. And 
and, and careers. Like, it becomes a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's something that we both had to talk about openly. Like, you, I'm not satisfied in this area, or I need help in this area. I need you to do X, Y, Z to get me to the point where I want to bust it wide open again. Yeah, you know, like, little true. things like that yeah. have to be on the table. You have to be transparent about it. So you're right. The suffering and silence part, because th what tends to happen is someone's going to go out there and step out, and then there's the deceit right. and the lies right. and mm -hmm. the cheating. And that's where openness can help, too. Because then you, you, you can say, all right, it, I don't believe, and this isn't me speaking, this is what this hypothetical person is saying. This hypothetical mm -hmm. Mark. <laughs> we'll call him Mark. Okay, Mark. we'll call him Mark. Mark. Let's just call him hypothetical. Yeah. We'll call Mark. him Hark. Well, yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hark from Brooklyn says. <laughs> no, there are a lot of people who say, you know, monogamy is not a natural thing. And uh. relationships are good and they're functional, healthy, you want a life partner but you just might want to have sex with somebody else. Right. Or you might want a different kind of connection. And so right. your marriage becomes an opportunity to have that bond in that future, mm -hmm. but then I might step out in these other ways. I have right. friends who do that. They have, right. they have rules around their open marriage. They have rules around their relationship. Mm -hmm. um, you, like, you don't fall in love. You don't, go, you don't date someone else full time, but you can have other kinds of relationships, other kinds of bonds. You can't have sex at certain times. You don't bring them home. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there, there are all kinds of rules they make that make sense for them. Right. And, and one couple I know have been doing it for 30 years. Another couple I know only been doing it for about two, right. but, they're, but and they're still trying to work out some details on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think I could deal with that personally, I but but I understand. Right. But I understand why it works for some people. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm too selfish. Um, Boy, like not. I just there's no <laughs> way not sharing. I'm not yeah. sharing. I don't believe in sharing. I'm, but, you, but we don't own people. We don't. You don't own people. Yeah, Donald. But, <laughs> right. Sterling. Sterling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where are yeah. We? Either way. Pick one. Right. But no, you do not own people, but you do absolutely own who you are and who they are. Like, yeah. you, who you are and, 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 and what you want to be to them. Like, hopefully you guys own how you feel about each other and the experience that you would like to share with each other. Right. And for me, I would be, and I'm always very open, like, if I'm going to get married, this is going to be a me and you partnership. We're going to be life partners. It's going to be us mm -hmm. against the world. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day... It is a hard thing to to put on anybody to stay married. It's tough. Like mm -hmm. people are going to mess up. People are going to be human. But at the end of the day, like open, nah, you can't. No, that's not for me. Right. I can't. I can't do it. I would just no. I think a lot of the would... issue arises too. Sorry. No, no, please. Um, a lot of the issue arises too when you take the choice away from somebody. Yeah. And that's one thing that my husband and I are very adamant about. Give it to me straight. Mm -hmm. Straight, no chase. It may hurt, but at least I can now make a, a decision. I can make a choice. Don't take my choice away from me to decide whether I want to continue in this or not. Mm -hmm. Some people believe that relationships are seasonal. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't believe in the long haul. Right. You know, Summertime. you may be here for a season, for a time, and then we've, we've had our ways and we've gone. That's for somebody who may not be monogamous or believe in monogamy. Right. Right. So they may feel like there's a turnover. But when my choice is taken away from me, then I get a, upset. Okay. Right. 